Now, there's another cool little feature I showed you guys before. It's kind of a logic thing. I'm still doing a lot of research on this, so there may be more experts on it. There's signal masts. And, if I can scroll to it, I'll show you that I have a couple signal masts. And the way the signal masts work is there's, um, whoop, you can also control the masts. And the options here are clear, so the top would be green for the main, approach, yellow for the main, stop, both red, diverging clear, the main would be red, the siding would be uh, green, and diverging approach, siding would be yellow. And you can cycle through these or just click and it automatically um, throws both of the signal heads. Now that being said, when I click the add button, I'll show you, there's all these cool little options I still am learning. There's different signal systems. Um, there's NYC rules. These are just the protocols and how the signals work. AAR2, Burlington Northern CSX, ProRail, um, Southern Pacific Transportation Company, 1930 rules, there's a 1960 rules. Right now, I just have basic model signals. And the mass type, I have a double searchlight, uh, searchlight high signal, there's also a single searchlight high signal. And it doesn't matter what the actual um, head on the layout is. This is just telling it, okay, so there's going to be three LEDs you got to control, and that's actually something you'd really control in the signal heads. And then there's different types of drivers. I'm just doing signal head controlled mast. I don't know what these other ones do quite yet. I mean, obviously, turn out controlled mast. I'm still experimenting. I'm just showing you how I have it set up right now. And then one thing to really note for the signal uh, masts is you need to already have had the signal heads in the system. So you can't make the mast without already doing the signal heads and that is back up there. So they're two separate tables. You need one to have the other. So as you can see I have test. Maybe I'll just you know do test here. And then I can just do test again because it doesn't know the difference. And then I can disable the different types of aspects should I choose. I'll just click OK. Now username has been defined because I'm an idiot. I skipped a step. I'm sorry. So you probably want to have a username. And we'll just do test. Mast. Is that spelled? No, nope. test nast. Eh, good enough. So we'll click OK. Am I sure? Yeah, generally you don't want to do that. And I'll just click yes. Just for uh, fun. And then look, it's right. Oh, you can't see it. It's right there. And it doesn't know what to do because we just added it to the system. Once again, hey, look, there are my options. And then to add a signal mask, it is literally the um, same thing. So I usually have this open so I can properly, you know, spell it in the signal mast icon part. And I will go ahead and type in the name. Test. Well, that's not it. Test. Mast, because I can't spell mast, because I'm a moron. And then I will go down here, I'll put it right next to my signal head. I'll hold down the shift key and click. It'll come up with little x, which you may have seen earlier. Um, that is the generic signal mast icon for the Panel Pro. And you're like, okay, great. How, am I sub what, well, how do I get the cool one that looks like a signal? Well, they make this super simple. You click it. And then to orient, what you have to do is you hold down the control button. By the way, I'm on a Mac. This might be different for PC. Hold down the control button, click, and there's all these cool little options. You can tell it to do when clicked. You can hit the level. You can rotate it, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rotate it. I'm just going to say I want to rotate it 90 degrees. You can set it to any degree you want, but then it can get hairy or just, yeah. And look, there it is. I rotated it. I'm cool. If you wanted to rotate it the other way, you could do negative 90 or 180 or whatever. So that is kind of how I added my two little, um, well, not just two. 
That's how I added all of these cool little signals onto my little panel here.